Many times previously on the cow-calf corner, we visited with you about that relationship between nutrition and reproduction in beef cows. And many times we talk about a change in body condition or an appropriate body condition score, say at calving time. I thought today we need to just review the body condition scoring system that's been used uh, across the United States for a number of years to help better quantify the nutritional status of beef cows based on their fatness. That's what the body condition scoring system actually tries to estimate, is the percent uh, body fat that's on these beef cows at different times of the year. And we put them in a range of one through nine. Let me guarantee that most of the cows in Oklahoma on commercial ranches are going to be in the middle three scores of four, five, and six. And that's what I wanna show you today so that you can discern the differences. Where I look on a cow in order to determine body condition or how fat she is, is partially illustrated by this particular graphic. As we looked at these cows from the side, two main areas that I like to really study to determine body condition. The last half of the rib cage, how many ribs are easily identifiable laying up next to the hide with no fat in between the hide and the skeletal structure. That's one key area. The other is that right along the edge of the loin, right in front of the hook bone or the hip bone, you might call it, those spinous processes, those vertebrae, that if you would see them without the hide, would be like big wide fingers pointing out towards you as you look at the cow from the side. If I can see more than two ribs on that cow as she uh, is uh, with her side pointed towards me, and if I can see the outline of those vertebrae along the edge of the loin in that area that we showed on that graphic, then I know that she's a body condition score four or less. This is an example of a four cow that gives you an idea of what a four looks like. Now, when that cow gets enough flesh to where I can only see the last two ribs and that area along the edge of the loin in front of that hook bone now becomes smooth, then we have this five body condition score cow that you see on the screen. Once we go and get enough flesh to where the rib cage just totally disappears because there's enough flesh between the, the skeletal structure and the hide, and that shelfy area where those spinous processes, those vertebrae, used to kind of point out towards us in those thin four and below cows, now that area is smooth just due to the fact that there's fat tissue between the hide and the bone. Now we've got a cow that's a six or perhaps even higher. So I think if you'll learn those three scores, four, five, and six, and know the differences, then you can go a long ways towards knowing how to expect these cows to perform in terms of reproduction at different times of the year. I really hope that you'll go to the SUNUP website, .sunup .okstate.edu. We'll put a link to an old fact sheet that'll really help you understand that a little bit better. And we're going to visit with you more about body condition scoring in beef cows on next week's Cow-Calf Corner.